Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Gran Turismo 7's 1.54 update. Polyphony Digital is world renowned as one of Sony's premier developing studios that has been known for pushing the envelope, technologically speaking, excuse me. And this update proves that once again, Polyphony Digital is doing just that. A massive 32 gigabyte update for PlayStation 5, and this is mainly for PlayStation 5 Pro, enabling some new enhancements for, again, specifically PlayStation 5 Pro. Specifically, an 8K resolution mode. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, why do we care about 8K resolution? There is virtually nobody that has an 8K television or monitor or whatnot. And I do have to remind you all that it was back in 2012 that the first 4K TV was released. I want to say it was in November and it was by LG. And the price tag was $20,000. And Sony actually very soon thereafter released its own 4K TV, and its price tag was respectively $25,000. So, it's only been 12 years, and now 4K televisions, I'm running a 4K television right in front of me, and I only got it for 150 bucks. So, yes, 4K resolution is a bit much. But give it a couple of years, and we'll start seeing it come into the market a little bit more. And we'll start having more and more of them. But anyway, that tangent aside, there's also some PlayStation VR 2 enhancements again for the PlayStation 5 Pro. I believe that it's more geared towards higher frame rate, so it's now... When I've been using PlayStation VR 2 for the PlayStation 5, it's normally been, what, I feel like 60 hertz? I think the PlayStation 5 Pro with the PlayStation VR 2 is going to be 120 hertz, so it's going to be a lot smoother, a lot higher frame rates going on there. So for us mortals who do not have PlayStation 5 Pros, or don't have that kind of money to spend on them, the update does give us quite a bit of content other than that. So first and foremost, the car that we're currently driving is the 2020 Porsche 911 Turbo S, the 992. We also got the Ford Escort RS Cosworth, the 1992 model. You can get that in the used car dealership for 147,000 credits. So here's the big one that we just got. It's 1955 Mercedes-Benz W. 196R for 20 million credits at the Legends car dealership. So I think there's now six 20 million credit cars in this game, and I'm actually quite glad that they're adding some very high priced vehicles. Because for a lot of us who have played this game for a long enough, we've got an absurd amount of credits in our bank that are just sitting there. So please, keep these coming. I, I like having these historic, legendary cars that we can pick up. Furthermore, we've got, yes, the Suzuki Jimny Sierra GC 2018. Get it for Brand Central for 20,000 credits. It's always fun having those weird little JDM. Not really, well, yeah, you could, I suppose you could call it JDM. But then, the other really fun one is the Porsche Mission X Concept from 2023. You can get that from the Brand Central for a million credits. This update, of course, also has some really nice additional features, like some additional escapes, as per usual. Additional extra menu bucks. This one particularly in question is the... Ferrari F40, Ferrari F50, and the Enzo, so that was kind of a big one. There are also some new wheels. This one was kind of fun. 
it's always great to have some of that. Uh, a couple of new engine swaps. So all in all, this update has been pretty good. Again, it's a ginormous 32 gigabytes for those 8K textures for PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 5 Pro. It's only two gigs for us, for the uh, PlayStation 4 users. So that's really only the, the size of the cars, I wanna say, realistically. Also what this update is, of course, Sophie AI being updated to now up to 15 courses. It has now been added to Trial Mountain, and get this one, it is on Tokyo Expressway, east clockwise. So having that much higher powered AI being used on the expressway is going to be really nice, going to be really fun to experiment with how the AI is interacting with the really tight corners and the just not a whole lot of space on the expressway, so that one's going to be real fun. And, of course, as we've got new cars, we've got new World Circuit events that are here to showcase being able to use these new cars. Of course, it is Grand Valley South, the Jimny Cup. Then we've got the one that we're actually currently doing, the WeatherTech Re Raceway Laguna Seca Porsche Cup. And then finally, not last, well, last but not least, we've got the Mount Panorama Race of Turbo Sports Cars. So that was more or less to showcase the Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Let's see if we can make this last little pass here. Can we do it on the outside? Looks like we might be able to make it stick. Yes, we can. So that all being said, that's our new update. I am actually pretty excited. A lot of great stuff here. And I hope you guys are too. I know it's five new cars is actually pretty decent. But uh, yeah, I'm just really excited that Polyphony is still doing great things with this game. And I'm, I'm glad that... They're still developing it and still working on it while they're developing Gran Turismo 8. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this update and if you think it could be a little bit more, a little bit less, let me know what you think about the new cars, maybe Sophie AI. Maybe you guys got a PlayStation 5 Pro. Let me know all down in the comment section down below. Of course, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.